In eastern Libya, wild celebrations greeted the UN decision to intervene. But during another chaotic and belligerent speech to supporters in Tripoli, Gaddafi vowed to crush all those who oppose him. Jubilation in the rebel stronghold of Benghazi. Those opposed to Muammar Gaddafi have been calling for international intervention for weeks. And now military help is on its way. Airstrikes led by British and French forces could be only hours away. The immediate aim is to bring an end to Colonel Gaddafi's ruthless repression of his own people. However, shortly before the UN vote, the Libyan leader warned the rebels should expect no mercy. This evening is an evening when we are prepared to fight for and sacrifice our lives for Libya, the revolution, for our future. Colonel Gaddafi also warned that he'd retaliate against any UN-backed airstrikes by targeting aircraft and shipping in the Mediterranean Sea. Let France listen, let America listen, let Britain listen, let the traitors listen to these sounds. In the face of a foreign onslaught, Gaddafi supporters are defiant. We are support Muammar Gaddafi until we finish the blood. No, you cannot take the oil. First of all, you have to take the blood. Gaddafi forces have surrounded the rebel-held city of Ajtabia and are now closing in on Benghazi. Warplanes attack the city's airport. However, the rebels claim to have hit back, shooting down two bombers. They might have won that battle, but defeat appears inevitable unless the UN can use its air power to halt Gaddafi's assault. Andrew Gagan, ABC News.